vegetarian recipe. Now I know a lot of you might not be vegetarian and that's okay, but you gotta try new things in life. And this recipe is so simple. Now I like this recipe for just a main meal for myself. Um, like my son, he likes it, but he's like, with, I, for him, he doesn't consider it as a main meal. So I will be adding, I'm gonna be making some new chicken patties and some mashed potatoes um, for him as well. But me, I just love it and it is so delicious. And back in Wisconsin when I lived um, and when I went to church, I was a seven day Adventist for seven years. And for potluck, um, we had women that would make this special K loaf. And it is so amazing. And I like anything that have nuts, walnuts in it, any kind of nuts. Um, and I also would also make um, cottage cheese patties. So good, so good. And I'm telling you, if you try it, you will really like it. So give it an opportunity. It's a very inexpensive um, meal to make or as a side. Um, Ashley, my niece, she just did a video with this too as well. And I'm going to share you um, how I make it. We make it the same, but I wanted to get it out there so everybody can try it because it is really, really good. It's so delicious. So um, I'm going to kind of show you guys. Okay. So the first thing you want to start with is your cereal. So you are gonna be doing special K cereal and you're gonna be doing two and a half cups. And then you're also gonna be doing cottage cheese. I do the low fat cottage cheese. If you wanna do organic, you can do organic too as well, but you're just gonna dump that all in there. Very simple. And also you are gonna do one medium onion. This says one medium onion. I cut it up in my Ninja that I love. It takes three seconds for it to dice up really beautiful like that, isn't that gorgeous? And then you also are gonna do a half, a, half, a fourth a cup of walnuts. Now I know this is not a fourth cup of walnuts, but I love walnuts. So I'm gonna add all those walnuts. You don't have to add that uh, as much as walnuts as I have. And then you're gonna do two eggs slightly beaten and you're gonna pour that in there, okay? And then you are gonna do some chicken granules, all right? And you're gonna do, you know, probably two tablespoons. All right, I did two teaspoons. I don't measure it out. You can mix it all together. You're gonna preheat the oven to 350. I'm telling you, this is the easiest, simplest recipe. And you, you all might be like, ooh, that doesn't look good. Cereal and nuts and chicken. Granules. That doesn't sound too appetizing, but trust me, <laughs> when it cooks up, it is amazing. This is probably my favorite vegetarian meal. I think it is for my whole family. Ashley loves it. Rachel loves it. Uh, when she was in Wisconsin, she made this, and I was so happy. And when I, we were gone, me and my sister, I think we were gone shopping or something at Goodwill, and we came back and everybody was getting all their food and there was only like two small pieces left of this. And I'm like, what? I'm like, come on guys, what are you doing? You guys need to share. You guys like you're taking big pieces. I mean, we all, we all want a piece of the pie. That's how good it is. So just mix it all up really good. All up. Mix it all up real good. So it's all coated in there really good. All right, and then you're gonna put it in a nine by 12, nine by 13 pan. And I, like, I lightly greased it, you know, and then just pour it all in in there. it 
fall down. And then you're gonna bake for 30 to 40 minutes. Now it's just gonna de depend on your oven. Every oven is different. My oven seems to take an awfully long time to bake stuff. <laughs> I don't know why, but it does. And look at how quick that was. How long did that take me to put together? Not long at all. I mean, this is like one of the quickest meals. The only thing that it takes is, you know, longer is going to be the baking time. But I'm telling you, it's well worth waiting for this. So you're gonna put it in the oven at 350 and then you're gonna bake it for 30 to 40 minutes. Hey, I'm back again. So I forgot to tell you there's one more ingredient in the special K loaf and that is two tablespoons of butter and I melt that butter and then I just mix that all back in there again. So two tablespoons of butter and I'll put that in the recipe of course, but I forgot because I was so excited to make it. So just so you know, add two tablespoons of melted butter to the mix. All right, this is finally done. Look at that, doesn't that look delicious? So I'm gonna keep it in the oven for just a bit because my son is washing his car. I'm gonna take it Hello off. friends and welcome back to part two of my dinner that I am gonna be making. Now my first recipe was my special K loaf. And the second part of the meal that I'm making is going to be um, chicken patties. And I am just kind of making up my own recipe. Um, I just always do that. I look on Pinterest and then I, I get some ideas, but I pretty much know. I make um, different chicken patties all the time. I make meatballs and stuff, but this here is gonna be patties. And um, this is very simple. And then for the other side with the chicken patties, I'm going to be making mashed potatoes. My son loves mashed potatoes. I love mashed potatoes. Um, and these chicken patties I have not made, um, but I'm sure they're gonna be delicious because everything I make is delicious. <laughs> so, okay, we're gonna get started. It's a very simple, very simple recipe, all right? For those who like meat. I do eat some meat, just so you know, because everybody's like, aren't you a meat eater? Um, I do, I do eat organic meat. Organic meat. All okay, right. you're first gonna put your, obviously, your chicken in a bowl. And I am gonna, I, I kinda, I kinda cut them up too much, but that's okay. This is red pepper. So I'm gonna add red pepper to the mix, because I love red pepper. Um, I also add zucchini. I don't have any zucchini, so I can't do that. You could also use uh, grated car uh, carrots, grated up. I'm gonna do one egg. It's always good to add eggs. And the reason why for that is because it makes your meat moist. It moistens is what it does. So, and then I'm going to add minced garlic. I love minced garlic. Love minced garlic. And I always add more than even if, the, if it's a recipe, I add more. And then you're gonna use some kosher salt. Now, friends, I don't measure. Me and my sister, we don't measure anything. We just put, you're gonna use some black pepper in there because this is gonna be a spicy chicken patty. Spicy, I love spicy. Spicy, spicy. You're gonna add some onion powder. You know, you're gonna add however much you want. I like to add a lot of spices because I like my meatballs and I like my patties to have a lot of flavor, a lot of robust flavor. Um, you can add spinach to this. I'm gonna try this garlic sriracha. It was what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna add that to it too. I'm just gonna open the top because it's gonna just be easier just to dump it out in there. Get it out. <coughs> Bet my neighbor Bobby's leaving. Yeah, we like, we like 
We like spicy. Spicy, spicy, spicy. That is what we are all about. Can mix it all up. I typically... Ooh. And shoo! Mm, that's it. That makes you sneeze. Typically, I would just use my hands to mix it all up in, but since I'm doing a video with my hands, I don't want to gross you guys out. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna mix that all up real good. You're gonna make your patties and then you're gonna fry them. This should be really good. And it should be nice and spicy. And then on top of it, you can make a, a, a sauce on the side to dip it in if you want. You can make like, uh, take some mayo or Greek yogurt. Um, if you take some mayo, you can do um, sriracha in it um, or Greek yogurt and then add the sriracha and sour cream to the base too as well. So you can really do any kind of, um, you know, dipping sauce if you want with it. You don't have to, um, but it might taste really good. You might wanna try ranch with some sriracha, you know, just to spice it up a little. So, but I've been using this uh, Vietnamese. Vietnamese, Vietnamese, soy free. You wanna get the soy free. So I might make a sauce, a dipping sauce with these. Um, if I do, I'll probably will take the Vietnamese and then I will probably add some um, sriracha some of this to it, or um, the, the liquid, you know, the sauce that you come in the squeezy, sriracha sauce, you put that in there, and then it would be really good to put some dipping sauce in there too as well. So, okay, I'm gonna fry these up, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fry them up. Some onion powder. You know, you're gonna add however much you want. I like to add a lot of spices. Cause I like my meatballs and I like my patties to have a lot of flavor, a lot of robust flavor. Um, you can add spinach to this. I'm gonna try, says garlic sriracha. It was what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna add that to it too. I'm just gonna open the top. Cause it's gonna just be easier just to dump it out in there. Get it out. <coughs> Bet my neighbor Bobby's leaving. <coughs> Yeah, we like, we like, we like spicy, 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 spicy. That is what we are all about. Can mix it all up. I typically, whoo, and shoo, mm, that's it, that makes you sneeze. Typically I would just use my hands to mix it all up in, but since I'm doing a video, with my hands. I don't want to gross you guys out. <laughs> uh, so you're just gonna mix that all up real good. You're gonna make your patties and then you're gonna fry them. This should be really good. And it should be nice and spicy. And then on top of it, you can make a, a, a sauce on the side to dip it in. If you want, you can make like, a, take some mayo or Greek yogurt. Um, if you take some mayo, you can do um, sriracha in it um, or Greek yogurt and then add the sriracha and sour cream to the base too as well. So you can really do any kind of, um, you know, dipping sauce if you want with it. You don't have to. But it might taste really good. You might want to try ranch with some sriracha, you know, just to spice it up a little. So, but I've been using this uh, Vietnamese. Vietnamese, Vietnamese, soy free. You want to get the soy free. So I might make a sauce, a dipping sauce with these. Um, if I do, I will probably will take the Vietnamese. And then I will probably add some um, sriracha, some of this to it, or um, 
the, the liquid, you know, the sauce that you come in the squeezing, sriracha sauce, you put that in there and then it would be really good to put some dipping sauce in there too as well. So, okay, I'm gonna fry these up and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fry them up. Okay, loaf all done. I'm gonna cut it up and I'm gonna put a piece on my plate. And if my son doesn't eat it, that's just more for me. And I'm gonna have a big piece, big whopping piece. I'm gonna put on my plate, and it's gonna be so delicious. Isn't that good? All right, I'm gonna put my chicken patty on there with some mashed potatoes and then I'm gonna sit down and we're gonna taste try everything. Welcome back. So now is the taste test. So first of all, I'm gonna taste test the special K loaf to see if it tastes as good as I remember it. Um, and to see, and compare it to Ashley to see if she cooks it better than me. We'll see. Mm. Nope. It's good. It's very good. Very good. I love it. I love the walnuts in there. Mm. You guys are going to love it. Now I'm going to try my chicken burger that I made. It's brand new. Brand new recipe I just made up. Never made it before. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It's delicious. It's uh, spicy. And I taste those uh, red peppers in it. And it's good. It's not like overly spicy, but just spicy enough. And my mashed potatoes, I always make really good mashed potatoes. What I love to do when I eat is I always take my chicken and I like to mix it in with my mashed potatoes. So, I like to do it that way. And you have a really good, healthy dinner. This is how you can eat. This is really great if you are looking to lose weight too. So all this is very healthy for you. I never make really anything that's bad for you. Um, so, great meal. Like I said, special K loaf, I could do all by myself just to have that as a meal. I would be completely fine with that. But since I was making my son um, some add ins, I decided I would try it so you guys would know. Now, uh, please, 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 if you try any of these recipes, either one of these, please take some pictures um, and email me and let me know how well it turned out and if you liked it. All right? Thank you guys. I love you. And thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Um, please subscribe and if you do have your own YouTube channel I am here to support you just you know as much as as my channel I love food channels I love 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 food channels DIY projects I love it all our homesteaders I support all you guys I love you all and thank you all bless you I hope you all have a wonderful day